which of the following is equal to sine of pi over 5? And then we're given four choices. If you know the co-function identity, if you know that sine of x equals cosine pi over 2 minus x, that's just the relationship between sine and cosine, you could plug pi over 5 in for x and then solve this directly. So cosine of pi over 2 minus pi over 5. So now I just got to do a little bit of work to combine these fractions. So this is the same thing as put them both over 10. 5 pi over 10 minus 2 pi over 10, which means cosine of 3 pi over 10. And that is choice C. That's one way to do it. You also could, if you want to get out of the radians, transform these all into degrees. So how do we do that? Well, whenever you see a pi, that's the same thing as 180 degrees. So this is the same thing as sine of 180 over 5, which is a sine of 36 degrees. If you remember how the trig functions work within these quadrants, when you have the sine of 36 degrees, that's going to be the same as the cosine of whatever is left in this. So this is going to be the cosine of 54 degrees. will be the exact same value as the sine of 36. It's essentially this relationship, but just imagined intuitively or graphically. So that, again, would get you choice C because 3 times 180 is 540 divided by 10 gives you 54. So very tough question either way. As I just said, this is a really hard question. Will they require us to know the cofunction identities such as this? Maybe. Uh, we only have one question that points to that. Is this the type of question we're going to see for trig a lot? I don't know. Uh, the fact that you can't use your calculator makes this really difficult. If you can use this calculator on this one, this would be trivial because you could just plug in sine of pi over 5, plug in all these values, and see which ones are equal. But we can't. So cofunction identity is good. Knowing the relationship between sines and cosines, as we saw here, works. But this is a hard question, so we're going to have to see how the SAT handles trig questions, if it's going to be memorizing relationships and memorizing formulas and identities. If that's the case, we'll do it. Or if it's going to be simpler stuff, if it's going to be graphs, we don't really know yet. But we will, of course, pay attention to where they take the trigonometry questions on the new version of the SAT.